Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Second week back, running from taking my break. Now I'm completely back on, onto that dopey training now for Run Disney. If you have not been following the channel, it's the first video, welcome. I ran Chicago three weeks ago, took 10 days off, and now I'm training for the Dopey Challenge in Disney. So I'm just kind of easing myself back into it. About two weeks of base training, even though I already have a very, very good base underneath me from the 18 weeks of Chicago Marathon training. But so two weeks, I'm just five to six miles easy every day. And then after that, I'll start to add some tempo effort and some work in as well. But it's like the perfect weather right now in Tennessee. It's about 45 degrees. So cold enough for a long sleeve, but I can wear shorts. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering what the Dopey Challenge is, it spans four days. You do a 5K, 10K, half, full. So it's a total of 48.6 miles. Definitely not for the uh, the weak at heart. <laughs> it's a very difficult challenge. Um, just running, especially when you get to those later days, the half and then the full. So the goal of these races is to not only just have fun, but do well um, and feel like finishing strong especially on that last day of the marathon because that's the most important day and see what happens but this training block is just going to be it's a lot different from others um, just focusing on heavy heavy mileage weeks um, taking a little step back from speed not so much speed just doing those kind of back-to-back -back long long runs and those long kind of hard sessions as well And also, if you watched the Chicago Marathon Prep series that I had, this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's just gonna be focusing more on the higher mileage and weightlifting. I was getting a lot of tips from people who have run Dopey before, and they highly suggested that you be in the gym, maybe, one more day a week than I was for Chicago. Just because having that extra strength on that last day will definitely pay off. I had to stop running for a second just because that right there, just chilling, not a care in the world. finish a run five miles moderate just whatever you guys saw that deer i just stopped for a couple minutes get some get some video that was pretty cool gonna head back to the office lots going down with runners empire so this is the, the cut off for the running video if you just want to see running catch you later <laughs> but if you want to see more business aspect of runners empire stay to the end of this video because there's a lot a lot to go over so black friday is one of the best times for a small business, but also one of the most stressful times. And probably over the next, you know, probably three or four videos, uh, it's gonna be November, right now it's October. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do to get prepared for Black Friday and kind of the runaround and the days of Black Friday because it's gonna be a multiple event. It's not just gonna be one day. Um, last year, I did a multiple event sheet, I'll show right here <laughs> what i did and that turned out to be extremely successful so I'm, I'm following the same model having multiple events that's what it seems like most of the retailers are doing they're not just doing it all in one day they're doing it on multiple days uh so that's what i'm going to follow uh like i have right here but mine's going to be a little bit different i have a little bit more going on uh, in terms of i have a special release coming this is my first time saying out loud uh because it's almost, you know, only two or three weeks away. But there's a special release of clothing coming out, like limited edition products. We have our mug of the year. Typically for Runner's Empire, we do a coffee mug of the year that we give away 
to people who place orders on a specific date and if they reach like a certain uh, threshold of spent money wise it's normally not a, a lot but it's usually like um first 100 or 150 customers so i'm going to just kind of show you guys how i get prepared for it so right now what i'm doing is organizing everything i don't know if you could tell i'll give you a little run around of the office um but i've got to go through everything count everything for all the sizes and make sure i i have like the correct inventory kind of like an end, end of year inventory check just double check um make sure we have the correct uh mystery boxes because we're bringing the mystery boxes back this uh if you're watching this video you're getting a lot of and you follow runners of fire you love runners of fire i'm i'm getting you guys a lot of uh things happening but we're bringing back our mystery boxes which is like a just a random assortment of sample products and things like that that we put into a box for a low price and the retail is usually like more than double uh just give people really good deals so that's coming back. Got to kind of make those because we have a pre-made amount. It's not like we have unlimited. Um, and just kind of organize everything and get things ready for the exclusive products. And just get ready for these events because the first event is coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, the first event I'll tell you guys right here is going to be an accessory sale. So that's going to be like the bottles, sunglasses, gloves, beanies, um, I'm trying to think what else squeeze bottles but uh we have socks that we're bringing back we don't have many socks but any accessory that's going to be the first event just only accessories are on sale for black Friday. but let me kind of take you around the office i like to show kind of live looks at what a small business looks like behind the scenes because a lot of people just like to show the the pretty glamour shots and things like that but I found like me watching YouTube personally, whenever small businesses or businesses in general show behind the scenes and they show like kind of raw footage of what's going on, I find that stuff a lot more interesting than the cut and paste, like extremely exciting and pretty stuff. I like to see like raw looks into a business. Okay, first things first, we have this shelf right here. We are working on the mystery boxes, just getting kind of all those situated. Uh, we have a bunch of items down there that we have to kind of go through right there as you can see uh, and see what we want to put in each one and then we just got a shipment of boxes in we still have more shipment of boxes to come in and bubble wrap just because we're going to need a lot of bubble wrap with the mugs coming in because you got to make sure those do not crack at all in your shipment and i'm going to get a lot of comments a lot of people always ask like what's with all the nike shoes in the bins and stuff like that um, on my channel, if you look in the past, I do a lot of buying and selling. So buying stuff low, selling it high. Uh, and I do a lot of Nike products, mostly Nike products and top down there like sports cards and things like that. So that's what all that is. It, it kind of combines with the Runner's Empire side with the buying and selling. Um, but if we come over here, you have, you know, where I take photos and things like that. But this is the sample stuff we're kind of getting ready for. And... The beanies, uh, as you see, all those beanies over there, that's going to be one of the exclusive products. Very, I, I can't show you the, the other side of them. They have a leather patch on them that's very, very cool. And then just pulling all the samples, getting them together, making sure we have you know, certain sizes and sizes enough to make a mystery boxes. I'll tell you guys a little bit about the mystery box a little bit more in detail. We only do it like a couple times a year um, this year. I think that'll be our only time this Black Friday. It's basically, it's usually between $40, maybe a little bit more, and you're getting basically $100 or more in value of retail value of Runner's Empire products. These are typically maybe past products that we only have one or two of, or what really pushes them to do extremely well are sample products, like one of one designs, things like that. Not every box gets one, but a lot of them do, and people... People love the mystery boxes, especially if you're paying $40 and you're getting $120 retail value. And our prices are already pretty low. I had uh, I had made some yesterday and I threw in for one, it was a hoodie, uh, a hoodie, a shirt, like a graphic tee and a hat and some stickers. And you know, you're gonna be able to get that for 40, 45 bucks, so. And what I'll do to make it easier, cause as you can see, kind of the, mainly the top shelf is kind of a mess just cause we've been pulling orders is, I've got to take everything down, like I said, count everything, make sure, you know, the stock is up to date, 
making sure I'm not missing anything. And what I do is I, when I take everything out, I'll basically put stuff on the table right here just to make it easier for me to pull. So, you know, when you have those influx of orders come in, it's impossible to keep your shelves nice. So what I'll do is like, for example, I'll take, see that pink shirt right there. I'll take the stock that I have, put it, put it down, take the green stock, put it down next to each other, just so it's easier for me to pull. Um, so I got to get that ready. Great. You have all those influx of orders, but it's also extremely busy. So this whole month is really going to be just mainly business. There'll be still some running content on this channel, but it's going to be a lot of business stuff going on, kind of the in-depth look at what is going on. So if that interests you at all, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get time to work. I got to package some orders. Orders are still coming in way before Black Friday, way before we even start the sale. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the next one.